Yes, I like a computer room. Circuit instructions. Form a complete circuit from the lower left to the lower right. Don't make any short circuits or duplicate connections. The power source comes first. You need to slow things down before you can roll them around. If a component is yellow, leave it until last. Banded elements must come after switches. What? Form a complete circuit from the lower left to the lower right. Don't make any short circuits or duplicate connections. The power source comes first. A battery. A switch, a coil, a resistor, a capacitor. Ah. Okay, form a from the lower left to the lower right. Don't make any short circuits or duplicate connections. Power source comes first. You need to slow things down before you can roll them around. If the component is yellow, leave it until last. Banded elements must come after switches. Banded elements must come after switches. Well, considering I have to leave this until last, I guess this comes here. I would say the battery comes here. Here, there, there. Ah! Congratulations, you have successfully assembled a central control circuit. Now you can pick up Easy Listen in 107, all music, all time. Either that or you've managed to repair the binary sequencing computer. You are awarded a memento copy of the control circuit, proving that you know how to follow directions. Yay! Don't make the laundry out here, the tape dog is on the spin circle. What's this? This is a one state of the art manually motivated binary sequencing computer. Is it even as up to date as the tape drive, but it could use your help? Okay. Hello! This is the binary sequencing computer. A decimal number is shown in the box at the left of each line. Turn the switches on and off to form the numbers binary equivalent. When you have the correct number, the bulb at the right side of the line will light up. The second box shows the decimal equivalent of the number currently formed by the switches. Watch how this number changes as you push the switches. It will help you get the right settings. If you get really stuck inside the hint, turn it to the S. <sighs> Calculating from binary to... Uh, from digital to binary was like stuff I really had to do often at school so 80 modulo 2 is 40 west 0 40 modulo 2 is uh, 20 west 0, 20 modulo 2 is 10 west 0, 10 modulo 2 is 5 west 0, 5 modulo 2 is 2 west 1, 2 modulo 2 is 1. Zero and one mod two is zero west one. So the first number is O O O O O no the one. Oh no, that's right. <laughs> do I really have to do this for all of them? Okay, binary. There are, I always say there are ten kinds of people on the world, those who understand binary and those who don't. The joke behind this is that ten aka one zero mean equals two in binary. This is if it's one or zero. Two to the power of zero huh? is either zero or one if you use it. 
2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, and so on. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 to the power of 5 plus 2 to the power of 7. Calculate it, it's 80. Huh? And you are calculating this. It, I don't know if modulo is the actual English name for this. Modulo is like division but with a west. Huh? So let's explain this. 61 modulo 2 equals 30 because 2 multiplied by 30 is 60 west 1. I give you a hint if you are modulo to by 2 all the time you always just have a zero west or 1 as a west. No? Huh. Then we have 30 modulo 2 is 15 west 0. No? You, you write this down from top to bottom. You have no? you take a sheet of paper, write at the top left corner 61 percent 2 equals 30 r 1. Then the next line 30 percent, the percent sign is the modulo sign, 2 equals 15 west 0. R 0. It's important that the ones and this zeros are in one line down. Then we have 15 modulo 2 equals 7 west 1. 7 modulo 2 equals 3 west 1. 3 modulo 2 equals 1 west 1. And 1 modulo 2 equals 0 west 1. You always have a 1 as the first, uh, the lower, um, the last calculation. Because you now have to read it from uh, bottom to top. So you just take your sheet of paper and 90 degrees to the right. And then we have 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 61. Let me calc... I showed you now how to calculate binary, uh, digital from the binary. You can do the same in hexa or octo. You just have to modulo by 16 or 8. Huh? Easy as pie. Thank you. Be right back. So, and the last, here. Your calculations are the same as mine? Wonderful! Easy. Congratulations! You have solved the binary conversion puzzle and fixed up the brain stereo system. A magnetic data card pops out of a slot on the console, and you pick it up for later use. Now, there's this nuclear reactor... Uh, nuclear reactor? Why is everything shaking here? Okay, I think I'm done here. Yeah? You open the door to the robot maze. So. Help the robot travel through the maze by clicking on intersections. At an active intersection, the robot will turn white. At the inactive intersections, the robot goes straight. Get the robot to pass over as many A squares as possible. They will write robot riddle answers to the data card. Watch out for the red and white spirals. They are traps which will transport the robot back to the beginning of the maze. When the robot runs over a switch, one or more of the traps will turn on or off. Okay, let's activate, activate this. Deactivate this. Activate this. Deactivate. Uh, Activate. No way. He goes over this. Deactivate. Why isn't that hard? Now I just have to wait here. Activate. 
Activate, activate. Deactivate. Activate, deactivate. Let's see how this works out. Deactivate, activate. Activate, activate. Deactivate. Oh shit, I wanted to activate this. Oh well. Why didn't they have fight of short circuits to data? Okay, activate. You have to go but get out of the maze. Yay! Well, was easy. What's special about the way a robot plant grows? Towards hot circuits? Calculator? Multiply? Apply CPU? It has square roots. It has square roots. What kind of computer does a derby farmer use? A calculator, right? I forgot which. I think it's E or a calculator. <laughs> yes, a calculator. Why do robots always take the longest path between two points? They are afraid of short circuits. To write short circuits. <laughs> what do robot babbits do best? Multiply. You've solved enough riddles that the robots think you are they are kind of humanoid. Humanoid door opens. Ooh I like this. You're in a room filled with spare robot parts. The room is dominated by a large glass case containing a simple mace. A robot torso is attached to one of the maze the, the end of the mace mace. You also see a computer console on the table near the front of the room. As you enter the room the three robot heads on the shelf begin to speak. You notice Dr. Braid has created three models of robots. One kind is programmed to always tell the truth. Another kind always lies, and the third moderately, alternately tells the truth and lies. Ugh. I am programmed to always follow instructions precisely. I when faced also. I am programmed to always follow instructions precisely. So also have, had never followed orders correctly. I am programmed to always follow instructions precisely. I am the only precise one of follower here. Each of these robots heads is obviously a different model. Only the truth telling head will follow your programming precisely. The lying head will always do the opposite of what you tell it. And the confused head will alternately follow your instructions or do the wrong. Okay. Safe. Robots. How many videos did I record so far? Ooh, this is the false one. Oh well, I will carry on. Uh, this electroplate like contains the remains of a robot cookie. It's funny, it's not robot only like chips. <laughs> The iron faced robot told you, I am programmed to always follow instructions besides the saucer had never followed orders correctly. The saucer red robot told you, I am programmed to always follow instructions precisely. I am the only precise order follower here. The robot head with the propeller told you, I am programmed to always follow instructions precisely. Iron face also follows orders besides instructions precisely. <sighs> I just take everything because I can. I have 